Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a reaction video to Becky, Amberlynn's ex-girlfriend, if you guys know. And if you're already caught up, they broke up. Becky broke up with Amber. Lately, that's how it's been for Amberlynn. All of her girlfriends end up breaking up with her. But anyways, yeah, they broke up. Becky moved out. Blah, blah, blah. And if you guys know that there is... Becky basically asked for money. Go fund me. She created that. And they're calling it a scam because in a way she kind of did scam people. She just doesn't want to believe it. But she kind of did in a way. So. <laughs> What's with my cat's reaction? Oh, he's going to come here. Because he's back. Hi. Oh, did you let you kill yourself a little bit? He always does this. He's so cute. He'll just sit back here and just watch me sometimes. It's the cutest thing ever. Anyways. So yeah. Basically, she, Becky uploaded a video on October 29th. Today is the 30th about her GoFundMe. It's labeled about the GoFundMe. Um, we're going to start. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I literally just sprinted across the house. That's probably why. But anyways, um, let's just start before, you know, it gets late. I also sped this video up because she talks really, really slow. Like, super slow. So I sped it up a little bit. Hopefully, it's not too fast. Okay, so I'm finally making this video. Hey. Um, I have been advised not to by, you know, a few people at one point in time, but she needs to. after everything has progressed the way it has, um, it is best that I do address this. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, before I forget, a lot of people are also upset with her because the money that they gave to her was originally supposed to be for her car, but she didn't really, she used maybe a little bit of that for her car. But she used the rest to pay bills and extra things, which is kind of scamming people because it was intentionally, she posted intentionally for her car, not for extra bills. And people are upset because she used it to pay Amberlynn bills, like, that she shared with her and stuff like that. So people are, like, upset about that, which makes sense. Like, you know, who wants to donate money to her just to have it go to Amberlynn Reed? Like, no thanks. I wouldn't. I, I didn't donate money to her because, no offense, I don't think, it's just not a good idea. Let's start. Whenever I broke up with my last girlfriend, my ex, you guys know who that is, I pretty much started fresh, started brand new, um, she decided that we would split bills, so all of my live streams. That's what I understand either, like I get it when you split up with an ex or whatever, but this is kind of a dis different situation because Amberlynn Reed has lots of money, why can't she just pay the bills temporarily till Becky got on her feet, or they could just cancel Becky could just cancel whatever bills she has with Amberlynn, and that way, you know, like that. But I feel like kind of Amberlynn's a little bit greedy because it's like, how are you gonna make your recent ex that you just that just left you and has literally no money to pay for the bills? Like, can't you just cover it? Because with Destiny, she she paid all her bills, even when they split or whatever. Money gave her money for rent, bills. everything. So I didn't actually have any of that to fall back on. Um, That's another thing I don't understand, is how does she not have any money to fall back on? Because apparently Amberlynn supposedly was paying Becky to be in her live streams. So where's the money that, that Amberlynn was paying her? Where either she wasn't paying her, or Becky just spent it on dumb shit. Like, where's that money? Because I feel like if she had that money, she would have had enough money for her car to fix it up. But she had to go and ask people. Um, she did give me $300, but that also went to um, some bills. And that was August, I believe. And that was the last time I did a live with her. And, yeah. So, I was encouraged by a few people who knew of my situation to make a GoFundMe. And so I did that. I knew... It was a bad idea, to be honest. The possibility of... What? People turning it into something that it's not. It is and exactly I what didn't it is. Respond the way that I should have. Oh yeah, she was also responding very mean. She was responding kind of like Amberlynn Reed, taking up after Amberlynn Reed's nasty personality. I feel like Becky's low-key like Amberlynn Reed, but a low-key version of her. Um, she, 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 I think what she thought was she could get away with treating her subscribers like shit, like Amberlynn does, unfortunately, get away with most of the time. It is not going to work for Becky. Nope. I responded defensively and that's how I have been. She even told someone, can you read? <sighs> so cruel. She asked somebody that. 
Who was upset with her? Responding defensively and angrily is something I am personally working on, and I'm sorry for doing that. I felt attacked and back into corners, and people judging my character and saying I scammed people and did. that I didn't use the money as intended. Whenever I made this GoFundMe, it was a shot in the dark. All I knew was that my car wasn't doing so hot. I hadn't had it looked at yet, but I knew there was something wrong with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was going to need help. Um, and people were willing to help. And I'm so, so appreciative of that because had it not been for that, I don't know what I would have done. Um, I'm doing a lot better now, but with my car going out, um, there were some commissions that I like finished and they backed out on. Um, some job opportunities that fell through. It's just been a really hard last few years. I just keep feeling like I just keep getting kicked and kicked and kicked. And uh, that's just what it feels like. Just constantly being kicked. Well, I feel like that she talks said, really I slow. It's like a lot and of I randomly put rambling right now. Because I was thinking, sure, that could get me something. And my nephew is an actual, um, he is a mechanic. And that is his job. That's what he does for a living. Okay. And he actually ran diagnostics on it um, after all was said and done. And he was like, okay, well, we're, it's definitely the O2 sensor. He's like, there's some other codes popping up, but we're going to start with the O2 sensor. So he started with the O2 sensor because he knew my financial struggles. He knew that... I wasn't doing okay, and this job market is, I, have, I, I know so many people who have tried to put in places, even people with college degrees and can't get I don't think she's searching hard enough for a, a job, to be honest. That's just my to that. um, These people opinion on these it. These places say that they're hiring, but they don't want to call. Are you leaving me, Ozzy? So, um, I was definitely, come here. Um, Set, Why do you think so weird? Back. I was sat back. Um, Sorry for the lighting glare. The sun's coming down. All of uh, Amber Lynn's, like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max. So I don't have to pay that stuff anymore. Um, I do still owe for um, one month of Netflix, but it's not. That's, that's what I don't understand. Is why can't Amber Lynn? It's just fucking Netflix. Put in my French. Netflix is cheap. Why can't Amber Lynn just pay that? Just pay it. And then Becky needs to just cancel it or not share the Netflix with her and get her own or just don't have Netflix. That's pressing, and I don't have that extra money right now. Um, but I had paid it in the past from my live stream money and whatnot, of course. Um, because that's what you do whenever you are splitting bills with someone. Um, my computer's loud. Sorry, guys. I have to feel so fucking scared right now. I just keep jumping everywhere. Um, so, with certain money prospects falling through, I was left scrambling and made to go funny. Um, I had recent, ex not recent, I've had past experience with GoFundMe and people attacking over it. Yeah, I remember that. Saying it was a scam. That my mom is gone. My mom passed away. I don't know how that's a scam. I don't know how having cancer and not being able to afford getting back and forth. Unfortunately, there are people who lie about having cancer so that they can get money, unfortunately. But of course, you know, with Becky's mom, that was not the case. Um, very sad that she lost her mom. Like, I can't imagine what that's like, you know, especially losing them to cancer or something. That big and scary is honestly very, 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 very sad. This guy is demanding my attention right here. The treatments or the surgeries. It wasn't a scam. I promise. This GoFundMe is not a scam. I think this one is, to be honest. 
But I do want to apologize for the way I have handled everything. Yeah, she literally was Amberlynn 2.0. I'm pretty upset at myself for the way I would handle things. Um, arguably, uh, snarky. But I'm like Amber Lynch. I'm sorry, would never make a video like this. Jumping to the sense, feeling like I, like my character is being attacked, and I had to attack back. I am sorry for doing that. Um, from here on out, I want to show my character in a different light, other than being defensive in situations where I probably shouldn't just kept my mouth shut. And. You know, I did still spend that money on my car. I still did. I have. I think she did some of her money on her car, but most of it went somewhere else. I'm sure. Um, because <laughs> the car is running now, but it doesn't run well for long periods of time because it starts to jerk, and um, especially when idling, you're jerking all over the place. And uh, whenever you're pulling your replaces, it's a very slow process. You can't like lay on the gas to pull out anywhere. So you, I literally have to wait when nobody's coming because the turn is so slow. Um, still working on that. Um, I'm hoping by this weekend my nephew will be able to finally fix the last big issue. Um, so I really want to thank everyone who helped with that. Um, a that lot was of the different. Sorry, guys. Me told me that I could use the money however I needed because they knew I was in a tight spot. Um, and they didn't expect anything in return. And I spent the money on things I needed. Um, food. I had to have my bills paid. You know, I have a storage with, um, I feel like, like if, by this time, if Amberlynn really paid her for half of the live stream, she should have had this money. Where did all this money go? I don't understand. Stuff. Like, uh, that had been given me, like, like, a couch and, um, some personal belongings, a, uh, bookshelf or a coffee table. You know, that's stuff for whenever I can start my own, on my own. And I have to have somewhere to put that right now, so I have to pay for storage too. Um, Why? What she have in storage? But I really am trying to get here. And I, ha I have so many <laughs> things that I want to try. And Come do and He's too poor. He doesn't care for humans. Online. And I don't want to just skate through life asking people for money. Like some people are trying to make me out to be. It kind of did. You know, it's kind of weird. What I understand is how quickly she asked for money, especially considering that she just left Emberlin and then she made a YouTube um, channel and I think she expected it to take off right away and make all this money, but that was not the case, obviously. It's going to take some time, but I don't know. I just, it rubbed me the wrong way when she started her GoFundMe. It just didn't feel right. I don't know what it is, but it didn't feel right. How far do you guys think that I can even get on $2,000? Like, Look at that nasty attitude. If people scam people, they usually ask for more than that. My intention was never to scam. Sure. Um, there was just so many things that hit me so hard at once that there was no way out of it. I guess she was with her family. I asked for help from strangers. And then people thought I was leaving money or whatever, going out to eat, getting a tattoo. She did get taco. I didn't do any of that. I have three tattoos and I got them last year. And they all have significant meaning. Sting son. And you gotta have food to eat. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I've not been taking care of myself very well because my depression has been acting up pretty bad. Um, and it has been, I'm going to say, for about two months. Um, I that keep trying sad. to put on a different face for people. But 
I realize that I don't need to be doing that. And I need to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry for being in a hard position and if people felt fooled into giving me, mon giving me money and I didn't buy the car because I couldn't, I mean, so long story short, I could not get a car for $2,000 around here. Well, obviously not. You have, I have gotten that car. I wouldn't have been able to pay for the insurance, pay for my current car payment, put gas in said car. Um, my car now is actually way past oil change. I need oil change for them, which I am going to be doing. I wish she would just pause this, or not pause, edit these long pauses that she takes. Like, edit this crap. I did spend money on the I promise. I didn't blow it on random junk. I have nothing to show for it. I don't have random junk to show for it. Everything you see behind me, I've had for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've had for years. I mean, all my clothes are back there in plastic drawers. I mean, if I was really going to go splurge on stuff, wouldn't I have gotten a, a dresser or something? At least. But I mean, I'm making do with what I have. I'm happy with what I have. Me asking for some help was kind of an act of desperation, and it's embarrassing to admit that you need help sometimes. And I know yeah. people aren't going to understand me or care. But I know that there are some people out there who do understand and who do care because they themselves have been through situations. But to the ones who did donate and do want their money back, um, the only way I can help with that is if I have actual legitimate proof because I can't just be handing out money. All right, sorry guys, I had to go get the heater because I'm freezing I cold. Random people who could be lying about that even, just to like blow one over because some people will do that sadly you know it's a kind of world where you can't really hardly trust anybody um yeah people scam so, and lie. that being said what's new this will be the last time i ever that that will be the last time i ever ask for anything um let's see let's see if she will stick to this i feel like she won't i mean again there's nothing wrong with asking for help but be honest about what you're going to like why you need the money she should just said can you help me get back on my feet that's it period people want to you know question what it's about but she basically posted this go find me basically for money for her car but she used that money for something else so she kind of lied and scammed people in a way if i ever get in another horrible situation like I was recently in, then she's trying to make her her viewers feel I'll bad. Figure it out. The GoFundMe was an absolute mistake. Warming my hands. I'm grateful for the ones who have supported me and have sent me positive messages and who believe me and don't think I'm a terrible standing person because I'm not. I want to move forward from this and show you guys who I really am and not what all of this has made me out to look like. Um, okay. You know, with my with the reputation I come from on YouTube. Yeah, um, I'm there was already reputation. a lot of people that did like me and a lot of people that did not like me. And that's fair. With me, for the way I feel about her is I kind of like her, but then I also kind of don't. Meaning, I'm not 100% sure about her because she's done some shady things too. When she was with Amberlynn Reed, and now she's done some sh shady things too. 
but like I'm happy for her that she was able to get away from Evelyn Reed and escape that that just escape that relationship with her. It was just so toxic and horrible. Emberlyn didn't give a shit about her. I'm glad that she's free now and hopefully, you know, everything in her life works out. Even if I'm not the hugest fan of her. I was subscribed to her, but then I unsubscribed after I heard everything that happened recently. I was like, no. She lost like 2K subscribers probably because you a little can't bit really more. get to know somebody through the internet. You can't really get to know what's in someone's heart through the screen. And mm -hmm. the only way I can repay you all now is to show you my appreciation with content. And you know, I am not some great artist and an Nobody amazing cares. gamer or a great singer or anything like that. But I have fun and enjoy learning to make myself better. To, you know, just because I'm not good at gaming or I'm not very good at, you know, art or whatever, it doesn't mean that I can't be. And I'm also wanting to learn how to make music with my keyboard. And right now I'm just in um, the process of trying to figure out how to get that downloaded on my dinosaur. <laughs> but um, if it doesn't work on my laptop, I'm going to try to eventually find the hookups for an uh, iPad because you gotta buy certain things to get it hooked up to an iPad. So that's gonna have to wait for a while. Um, right now, I'm just focusing on trying to. Um, Go um, I also want to address there's no flag right there. So, um, so address what? Its original meaning to me is something entirely different than what it is viewed as now because of how it originated. And I originated. think she also, there was an issue with the flag or something that she had that she threw out something and she had like a nasty attitude about it by the front man for type of negative um in his love of nature and his spirituality his paganism um his scandinavian backgrounds um that's why he created it because it represented everything that he loved and loved dearly and their early early stuff was very like a crash metal like I no, I wasn't into any of that. I got into their like more um, melodic. Okay, rock I could care less about this. Later on, whenever they pretty much sung about, you know, love and loss and just life stuff. You know, they wasn't singing singing about a bunch of angry stuff like they were. Um, but I did take the flag down because oh, yeah, of the affiliation. I thought that was right. Um, I saw Dave Chappelle up there. Which is what I was wondering. She has a lot of things in her, in her room. I don't see any papers. I feel bad for her. I mean, look, this is the outcome of what happened to Anita Amber Lynn Reed. You're like, you lose confidence. You're just depressed, not happy. That's what it takes dating Amber Lynn Reed. Uh, maybe in the beginning it's all woohoo fun, but then slowly you get dragged down by Amber Lynn Reed. It's sad. You gain nothing from being with her besides a little bit of money to spend, but that's it. Yeah, literally nothing. Let's continue this video. We've got a couple minutes and then we're done. So, um, I am apologizing for the um, misunderstanding of this GoFundMe situation. Whenever I first started, I thought it was just going to be either getting a car or completely fixing this car. But then all this other stuff happened in the middle of it. And I couldn't afford the car. That was Obviously. Cool. Run, right? I mean, yeah, you can buy one on Facebook Marketplace for $900, but it's probably only going to last you for two days. And it's, 
I'm in the same situation I was in. A car that doesn't run, a car that doesn't work. So I couldn't buy a new car. And I couldn't put it back because I didn't have any money. I just want to thank everyone who has helped me through this terrible time in my life. And for the ones who have stood by me. And um, I'm sorry to the ones who felt misled or uh, lied to or kept in the dark. That was never my intention. That was never my intention. I promise. Okay. And from here on out, I want to move forward and try to prove myself as not what people are trying to make me out to look like. So, uh, okay, I'm going to stop this here because I don't want... I don't know what the rest is going to be. Just a couple more minutes. I cannot stand to listen anymore. But, um, again, I'm not a huge fan of Becky and I don't really like her. I have subscribed to her channel before because I was excited for her to, you know, I was still, despite me not being really a fan of her or liking her, I was just excited that she finally got out and, you know, in her, her video, she was actually putting effort in her videos and vlogging and doing things and going here and there and, you know, just more effort than Amberlynn Reed's ever put in her channel and I was just super excited for that but then after the recent things about like this you know the whole this basically being a scam and her the way she responded to people in the comments and just becoming like Amberlynn Reed I was just like nah this girl does not deserve my subscription to her like I'm not gonna sub, sub to her right now so I unsubbed maybe in the future I'll sub back again but I think for now that's that like again even though I might not be the biggest fan of her I still hope that she you know gets successful in whatever she wants to do i think what she needs to do first is focus on getting an actual like i don't want to see real job because youtube is also a real job if you're getting money from it it's a real job but maybe a job like she could work at walmart you know or a grocery store somewhere or you know there's places that are hiring that she can work to which might be harder if her car is not working but maybe there's a bus she could take or something you know um there's, there's ways to make money i feel like she might not be looking hard enough but aside from that, I do really hope that, you know, she finds happiness in herself and then maybe one day in someone else and just is able to pick herself back up because it's a lot of work leaving a relationship that she had with, like, Amberlynn Reed, where the, 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 the person was basically earning all the money and then just, <sighs> she has to pick up from the beginning, she has to start from the bottom to get back to the top so i do wish her luck so if you guys do want to watch her videos and check her out her channel is called kind of good kind of beck and yeah check it out if i remember i'll link it in the de description and so on and so forth so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video i need to do more i kind of want to do more i just need to remember so i'll see you guys in the next video